Hello Cary Academy students, Mr. Lassiter here with you and in this video we're going to be taking a look at my classroom rules to help this year uh, be uh, a rousing success. Um, these norms or expectations uh, will be in effect uh, from the first day that you're in the classroom and I think they'll help us have a successful year. I have five simple classroom rules, and I'm not going to read them to you at this uh, moment, although you can pause the video right now and take a look through them, uh, but we will look at them one, uh, one by one as we go. Uh, and I've had these rules for quite some time. They're tied to uh, respect uh, for oneself and others, um, but they also, I think, fit quite well with the uh, vision for the Cary Academy community. Uh, if you think about that uh, community statement as a member of the Cary Academy community, I am responsible for acting with respect, integrity, and compassion. And I think these rules help uh, to do that in the classroom. So rule number one for my room is that I will come to class prepared and on time daily. Uh, now, this is a, a rule I feel strongly about because I want you to come to the class with the things that you need to be successful. That means coming with your laptop charged with uh, writing utensils, uh, with paper for the days we need that, um, and also coming to class having prepared whatever homework, whether it's watching a video or reading or annotating, uh, so that you can fully participate in class. Uh, we've all experienced those days where we feel unprepared, we do not have what we need, and oftentimes we slink to the back. So that is not something that I want to happen for you in my classroom. If we can do that daily and be to class on time daily, making sure that we're valuing our time together, then we can have a, a really fantastic school year with a lot of participation. Rule number two says that I will show respect, honesty, and responsibility toward others and myself at all times. Uh, so showing respect to your classmates and having respect for yourself. Uh, and that might go back to being prepared, right? You're, uh, and and respecting, the respecting yourself by making correct choices. Uh, being honest, right? So the Care Academy, for example, has uh, academic integrity uh, statements, a, a code, uh, an academic code of honor or honor code. Um, and that, that means that you're being honest with yourself uh, and with others in the work that you do, that you're not stealing work uh, from someone uh, via the internet, something along those lines, or that you're not uh, getting impermissible help. So being honest at all times will really help create a, a safe uh, and truthful environment in our classroom. And lastly, being responsible. We see that in the, the Cary Academy community uh, statement of values. And uh, being responsible for yourself and your actions, right? You're in high school. We want you to take ownership of your learning and of your actions and teach you uh, and, and, and uh, nurture that, that growth of responsibility as you go through Cary Academy. So that, this rule, I think, is, is, is quite an important one. Uh, and it goes along a lot with rule number three. I will not disrupt instruction or other students. Certainly, if you are disrupting others, you are breaking rule number two. But I do think it is important to break this rule out separately because oftentimes what we are doing that is disruptive, we don't necessarily think of uh, in the moment. So uh, if uh, you are redirected or corrected, um, think about that. Are you, is your disruption, disruption harming uh, what is going on in the classroom, or perhaps is it preventing other students or may, perhaps even yourself from fully participating or fully learning? Uh, so I take disruptions very seriously in class, uh, and uh, any classroom disruptions will typically be accompanied with a conversation with me. Um, one disruption that sometimes might not be quite as overt, might be a, a little quieter, is inappropriate use of technology. And so rule number four, I ask, uh, or it says, I will use technology appropriately in the classroom. There are certainly times where you're going to need your computers, and that is going to be very often in my classroom. There are times where you might need your headphones to watch videos, and there are times where you might need your phone to participate in review games or to fill out surveys. And those are all appropriate uses of technology if they're being used for 
instructional purposes. However, uh, if you are playing games on a computer with uh, little tiny arms, just uh, pressing that A, S, D, W key and the arrow keys, or if you are uh, using an unapproved app on your phone, that is certainly disruptive to, to your own education. It may certainly be disrupting to those around you, uh, and certainly um, it will be disruptive to the instructional process if I have to stop and address that inappropriate use of technology. So I ask you to be responsible for yourself, be responsible for how you use technology, uh, and we'll have a great year. And rule number five, the last one, is that I will follow all directions the first time given. Uh, this comes from being uh, probably being raised by my parents. Uh, first time every time uh, I'm not going to do ask you to do anything that is unethical or unsafe in the classroom so if I'm giving you something uh, a, a direction uh, I hope that it is followed the very first time it is given and that'll allow uh, us to have a lot more time for for the fun stuff all of these rules really do fit into this statement of community values. As a member of this community, I am responsible for acting with respect. Keep in mind that's respect for others, respect for self, respect for teachers, uh, integrity, right? That is honesty uh, and uh, following instructions as given, and certainly compassion. Uh, having compassion for those around you can help really build up a community uh, and and that is something that I, I feel strongly about and want, something that I think Cary Academy does as well. So um, what I want you to do for homework tonight, other than watching this video, is make sure that you re review the expectations in the course syllabus online, share that with your parents, um, and also make sure that you are familiar with the rules and regulations that are found in the Cary Academy Student Handbook, because those rules will also uh, be in effect in my classroom. I'm excited to have you in class uh, this trimester, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to get hitting the ground running. So have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.